sketch the graph of y is equal to cosecant x, where x is largely between negative 2 pi and 2 pi. If we understand cosecant x to be 1 over sine x, we can use the graph of sine x to help us with the graph of cosecant x. First, in dotted line, I'm going to draw sine x, 0, 1, 0, negative 1, 0, between 0 and 2 pi. Then, I'm going to say to myself that sine x, the denominator, cannot be 0. Therefore, all those points on the graphs that are zeros becomes automatically vertical asymptotes. Since sine pi over 2 is 1, pi over 2, 1 is part of the graph of cosecants. Since sine 3 pi over 2 is negative 1, 3 pi over 2 negative 1 is part of, is a point of the graph. And the curve will get closer and closer to the asymptote and not touch it. So this is the curve between 0 and pi, and that'll be the curve between pi and 2 pi. And we are done. Now we will draw the sine curve on the left side, reflection over the origin, and we'll proceed the same way to draw y equal to cosecant x between negative 2 pi and 0. Now for the domain, every time we have an asymptote, we cannot have x taken that value, so x cannot be an integer multiple of pi. For the range, if we look at if we look from negative infinity to 0, it goes from negative infinity to negative 1. Then if we look at the interval from 0 to pi, it goes from 1 to positive infinity. For y equal to cosecant x, the period is 2 pi. The domain is all x different from k pi. The range is from negative infinity to 1 included, union, 1 included to positive infinity. Vertical asymptotes, x equal to k pi, and symmetry about the origin. If we understand y equals secant x to be 1 over cosine x, when we graph it between negative 2 pi, and 2 pi, we will start by looking for the points at which cosine x is equal to 0. These are going to be the vertical asymptotes and the function will be undefined. Cosine is equal to 0 when x is equal to pi over 2. 3 pi over 2. Any add multiple of pi over 2. So any x such that x is equal to 2k plus 1 times pi over 2. We're going to sketch the graph of cosine, which is a cup, and then the zeros automatically become vertical asymptotes. Cosine 0 is equal to 1. 0, 1 is on the graph. Cosine pi is equal to negative 1. Pi negative 1 is on the graph. And cosine 2 pi is equal to 1. 2 pi 1 is on the graph. Now the curve will get closer to the asymptote without touching it. This is the behavior from 0 to pi over 2, from pi over 2 to pi, 
and then from pi to 3 pi over 2 and from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi. The graph of secant is reflexive over the y-axis. Therefore, we can reflect in dotted line the graph of cosine, uh, draw the vertical asymptotes, and just reflect the graph over the y-axis. And that reflection will give us the sketch of secant x over the interval negative 2 pi, 2 pi. The domain is all real number except the odd integers of pi over 2. x cannot be 2k plus 1 times pi over 2. And the range, it goes from negative infinity, negative 1 included, union 1 included to positive infinity. For y equal to secant x, the period is 2 pi. The domain is all x different from pi plus n pi. The range is from negative infinity to 1 included, union 1 to positive infinity included. Symmetry is about the y-axis. Vertical asymptotes are x equal to pi over 2 plus n pi.